I was like, I thought I had to uh, press something, but it's working. Woohoo! Yay! First live stream on YouTube. This is cool. Okay, so now I have to go live on here on my Instagram. Okay. Hi, buddy. Can you see and hear? Can can see you and hear ever? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. He is. Uh, hi, everyone. So I'm also on Instagram right now. I have my phone perched up over there. Um, hi, Ohio. Hi. So, how has everyone been? Um, I am on because Renegade Craft is doing a virtual fair, and you can probably see Evers from from there. Um, we were supposed to go on earlier, but uh, I had some technical difficulties. I think I'm figuring this out, and hopefully this will all work. We'll see. So, um, before I start, <laughs> hello, Chisan. Um, before I start, I just want to show you some of my popular cards. Um, I folded them yesterday, so they'll be up in the store today later. Um, so this is Happy We Picked Each Other. No, everything is backwards. これ、happy birthday の猫. And then dog and cat. <laughs> okay. はようございます。わ、すごい。これできてて嬉しいな。Okay. Yay. Okay, so for um my New Moon Paper Goods on Etsy. I wanted to create flowers that you could send to people. And I know that it would be a little hard to send real flowers over. So I made this little kit. It's this tulip kit. And it comes with everything like flower, tape, some stems, some instructions. Um, enough for... It's supposed to be for five flowers. But you can definitely make more than five. Easy peasy. Um, so... I'm going to be using this kit today. I'm actually using scraps. A little bit in Japanese. I あの、友達とかお母さんとかに花を送りたい時もあるし、あと自分でも花買いに行きたいんだけど、今なかなかそういう時期じゃないから、こういうキットを作ってみたのね。で、このキットの中に一応チューリップを5本、5本っていうのか
So what I have are, what you need really, because it comes with everything, is basically just scissors and glue. あの、必要なものはハサミとえっとこのホットグルーガンですね。Yes. This is all you need because everything else is already inside the kit. So, let's start with cutting the pattern. Um, so, let's do this up. It's stuck. So, I'm going to start with the petals. Let's cut these petals out. So on here it says the grain of the um, the paper. As you can see it's supposed to be going down like this. And we are gonna need six of these. So six petals for two. The way that I like to do it is I like to fold it so you just have to do one cut. So fold it like this. I just folded zigzag. This fold and fold. Um, I wish I could just send you guys the kit right now. <laughs> okay, so since I'm going to need six, I cut it in half, and now I'm going to cut around it. How has everyone been? Nasan kinki desu Nihon wa. みんな寝てる。もうそろそろ起きてる。それかみんな早起きですかね。Okay, so right now I have four petals. Like this. And I need two more. So I'm going to fold them again. I don't need that many. I'll just fold it like this. This is so easy. You'll see that yesterday I made it and I made it within 20 minutes and that was cutting the pattern too. I know that if you're a beginner it might take a little bit more time, but okay, so we made we cut the petals. Let's do the petals first. Or should we cut everything? Let's cut everything. Okay, petals to the side. Next is the inside of the flower. So this part, the inside. Um, you can do white, you can do yellow. I am going to do, should I do white? I haven't tried white. Maybe, uh, this isn't long enough. Hmm, what if I did white and yellow? Okay, so this middle part, I'm gonna do white and yellow. Hello, everyone. Oh, yeah, bye. Oh, no, come back. <laughs> it, ha it happened last time, too, where if you double tap on Instagram screen while you're live streaming, it flips the screen over the other way. Okay, so now I'm just cutting the middle part. I'm going to do that yellow. And then I'm going to do this part. So this is the trickiest one. これ一番切るのが難しい。朝の5時半。日本は朝の5時半。おはようございます。早起きですね。えっと、okay. So to cut this like this is possible, but it's a little bit of a headache. So what I like to do is just zigzag fold it over like that. And you're going to do the same thing with your paper, zigzag and folding it over. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Basically like making a fan. One, two, three, four, five. There's usually six. Like so, and then we are going to cut around but don't cut this bottom part, leave it. Just cut the top little nib part. So. Kiru toki wa ue no bubun dake kitte. 
下のとこは触らないでください。じゃないと全部の紙がつながらないの。ブン。たら<笑> So then, 下の部分。The bottom part is a little long. So I'm just gonna trim it. Okay, so then we have this part. And then the last one are the little leaves. So these,、um, they come in two sizes. And what I did originally with the first one is it has two the shorter one and the longer one.、Um, because my scrap paper <laughs> is little, I'm just going to cut the smaller one. But Um, there should be enough for two sizes. All right, so this I'm gonna need two. I'm just gonna do the same thing follow the grain with the paper, and I'm gonna cut this. So follow the grain with the paper, and it's folded. Today it's actually it's nice, it's warm, but there is a breeze in LA. How's the weather over there? Where is everybody? I don't know where to see them. I don't know where to see them. Here's two.、So、I just want to sharpen the tops, the tips. All right. We have two now. Okay, so then let's start with the petals. I'm going to put these to the side again. All over the place. I'm just so happy this is working. <laughs> okay, we have six petals. What we have to do is With every petal, not in the center, sort of to the side, either the right or the left side, we're gonna put a small thread of glue. Small thread of, thread of glue. Or what you can do, another way of doing it is just cut it and then you're gonna glue it together. Another way that people I've, I've seen do it is they cut it in half and then they glue it together like that. But、um, I'm just gonna do it where you don't have to do any more cutting. So I'm just gonna add a thread of glue to one side. Maybe it's too far to one side. Like that. You see the glue? And then I'm going to fold it on that side. So it's a little off center, and that's what you want. Hello. So it's like this. So then when you open it, there's like this little. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> A little hump on the back, right? So, you're gonna that's gonna be like the center part of the tulip. So, you're gonna do that with all the paper, with all the petals. This and then hold it. It's glued. So, I recommend using a hot glue gun just because the glue dries a lot quicker.、Um, but you can use regular glue. Hot glue gun no ho ga o s u s u m e s u r u k e t o a n o f t u n o nori, glue de mo d a i j o b u des. Everyone's lunchtime da ne. Mina lunchi. アメリカはランチの時間だけど何するのかな ?OK、and then one more
So the very first one I did really off-centered, but you can do it closer to the middle. So then we are going to take the petal. This one, it came out just a little weird. Well, actually, it doesn't look too bad on camera. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to take a petal. You're going to take your scissors, and what we're going to do is we're going to curl the top of the petal the same way you would do with a streamer. And it's okay that it's gonna like spread apart because that's sort of what you want to happen. So we're just gonna take this and curl the top and then the paper will kind of spread on its own. So like that, see? I made a petal. Hanabira ga dekita. <laughs> the very first time I did it, I really got excited because I'm a newbie as well. Yes, baby! I can't! I'll help. I'll help you in a little bit. He's doing his Thomas train. And he's trying to build one of the largest ones. Then um, we're going to do that to all the petals. See how easy that is? It does look real. Okay, another hack if you want to make it look even more real is you take um, a darker purple stamp. Or you can probably even do marker. But they take a sponge and you stamp the bottom of the petals, the inside or the outside, and it makes it look like more of like a gradient. Um, I've seen people do that. I haven't done it. I do want to try, so maybe I'll do it next time. Um, but I've seen people do that, and it makes it look even more real. So as you can see there's just little bits. That. Hanabira. In Japanese, you say petal as hanabira. Okay. And last one. We're already halfway done. <laughs> Okay, so now we have six petals. We are going to put it to the side. And then next part is the center part. So we're gonna take our two center pieces, which were these guys. And we're gonna take a wire. Oh no, I'll just take a wire from here and I'll replenish. Okay. So we're gonna take a wire. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is bend the tip of the wire to make a little loop. You can use your scissors or you can use pliers or you can use your hands. Um, all you have to do is bend it. So you make a loop. This is gonna be quite a big loop. But I like to bend it with scissors or something and then just kind of do it with my fingers because this is going to be the center part of your flag. All right, after you've done that, you're going to take the center long piece and you're going to twist the middle. I say twist it maybe like two times, like a little candy. And then we are going to glue this on here and then glue this down. So it's going to turn into the very center piece of your flower. I'll just put this to the side.
Do it. And then glue the piece down. And then I just like to glue one side over and then the other side to the other. So you got it like this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna take the glue, add a little bit to one side. I'm gonna flip it over and glue this side down. All right. Now we have the little centerpiece of the tulip. Is the lighting getting dark? Because of the sun is moving. Okay. Like so. Kind of look weird, but. Then uh, this part, this part, what we're gonna do is we are going to twist each of these the same way we did the center part. Zenbu. Hi, Maya. Are you able to see me? All right. So now that we have that, we are going to wrap it around the middle part of our stem like so. Um, what I like to do, preference, is add a little bit of glue on one side to start and then um, you're gonna want to gradually add glue going down to wrap it because i i tried just doing this and gluing the ends and then the inside kind of fell apart so what i recommend is gluing the whole bottom stem part on. And then twisting around. So you gotta do it quickly because the glue already dried up. Especially I have my air conditioner on and the glue just dries up so fast. Okay. Already dried again. Technical difficulties, it happens. Hold it. There you go. So then you have made the inside of your tulip. Ta Isn't it cute? Okay. So then, <laughs> if you take off all the glue gunk, you're going to set it aside and you're going to bring back the petals. And you're going to take three petals. And you're going to make a triangle, sort of, and glue that on to the middle, the center part. So, one, two, Running out of glue. Two and three. So then it makes this triangle. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> gluing it as I'm doing it. like that. You see? So then you're gonna take the remaining three petals and fill in the gaps. There's a gap right there. There's a gap right there and a gap right there. 
we're just going to fill in these gaps. So, take the blue. And fill those gaps up, baby. How's everyone's Saturday going? Blue. And then the last one goes right here. To fill this gap. This gap right there. You see that? Where did it go? This. We get really focused when we're doing these craft things, don't we? All right. So there is your tulip. Tulip dekimashita. Ta da! Okay. The next part is probably the hardest part for me is using the flower floral tape. Ooh, you're having coffee? It's 3 o'clock in Mexico? Aww. Um, okay, so the flower tape. The key with flower tape is when you spread the flower tape apart is when it activates the glue on there, right? So you're going to want to cling the tape onto your stem, pull, and twist. And for me, I've been having the hardest time. <laughs> what I try to do is I try to put on the floral tape with some hot glue gun, and it did not. Uh, it did not work. It um, melted the wax that's on there, and it just no, no bueno, no good. So um, what I've seen on YouTube is you kind of just pull extra tape out, like so, and you are going to just start wrapping. The beauty about the floral tape, too, is that if you mess up, you can always do it again. So, oh, my mother-in-law says that she'll show me how to do floral tape. <laughs> She's probably a pro. So we're going to spread, spread it apart while we twist again, you guys. I'm still a beginner just like you. Mm -hmm. so, twist. See, I already messed up. So there. It happens. But when I keep trying, um, <laughs> I, keep, I get, keep getting better at it. Um, yeah, so again, I've done it where I'm half. Like I can do half of it and then I just go over it again with floral tape. Oh my gosh. Really? Ah! <laughs> Maybe it's the other way. I've made so many of these. I'm gonna try this first. It rips. <laughs> the struggle. <laughs> Where's my mother-in-law? I need her on now. Teach us all how to do it. Okay. One trick that I have done is I kind of just... Oh my gosh. And then it also makes your hands all sticky. This is the only part for me that I have trouble with. Ripped again. We'll get through this. We'll roll this together. I'm just going to do one round and then go back to it. Oh my gosh. I've made a clump of a mess, but 
Let me just do one. I'm just basically stretching and twisting to the bottom. So what you're really supposed to do, you're doing it, thanks. <laughs> what you're really supposed to do is when you're halfway there, you're gonna wanna add the little um, stems in between. But since I already did one round and the, this part I'm not happy with right here, so I'm just gonna go in it again. Now that I have, oh my gosh, I feel like it got worse. Alright. So then twisting it downwards. I guess the key is to stretch and twist or else you're just gonna waste um, floral tape. Okay, so then for the stems, you're gonna want to add them on there. What I like to do is fold them down like that. Can you tell? Fold one side, fold the other side. So then I'm going to add the stem in between as I am twisting the foil tape down. So do one higher and then one a little lower. In this case, I didn't make the longer one, so I'm just going to add it right underneath on the other side of the flower. There, and then twist it all the way down. <laughs> and then you have it. All right, with the stem, the last little bit that you're gonna wanna do, let's take off the little hot glue strings. Um, is you're going to want to just take your scissors again and curl the tip of the leaves. See how cute that is? And there you have it! You've made it! <laughs> oh! Minasan, ikaga desu ka? Dekimashita! I did the yellow and the white and it worked out pretty nicely. So then I can add it to my bouquet. I'm moving that one around too much. And it's so cute. And it'll last forever. Ta-da! Akane-chan! <laughs> So what do you think? It's pretty easy, right? Yeah. I know, it's super cute. And then you can um, customize it with like different, you can make a yellow tulip if you want. You can make a white tulip. I have all the, the the papers in here. You can even make a whole green tulip. That might be like cool and edgy. Um, how many tulips have I made so far? Maybe 10. <laughs> the first two were practice and I was just like, oh, but I'm getting better each time. You are so cute. Yeah. So if you want, um, I have kits, or if you have paper lying around, I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for 30 minutes. This was fun. So, mosugu haha no hirakara, zehi present ni mo. 
おすすめです。あと、言われたことが、あの、病院に、あの生の花、本物の花を送れないから、こういう紙の花を送りたいっていうあのコメントがあったから、それもそうだなと思った。Um, I got a comment saying that、um, she wasn't allowed to send、um, real flowers to her sister and she wanted to send in the hospital. And she wanted to send some paper flowers. She said, I don't know if her sister has enough energy to make them, but you can always make them and send them. You can personalize it, put like a little ribbon around it with a little note.、Um, another thing I was thinking is making smaller versions of this and adding them onto like gifts on top of like a gift topper would also be really cute. So, yeah. So, so, so. And the other idea is. これをちっちゃく作ってプレゼントの上に乗っけたりとかなんかそういうこともできるなと思っていますなのでみんなぜひ試してみてくださいなんかすごく変な角度<笑> OK Thank you guys so much for watching and、um, Renegade Virtual Fair I think is just about to end If you go to their site you can see other people Um, doing their craft. I also have cards if you ever want to go shopping for some greeting cards.、Um, have them. I have Mother's Day cards. I can ship out to you first thing Monday. So I have these Mother's Day. Thanks for the good jeans.、Um, happy Mother's Day for a mother in law. So much to be excited about and stuff like that. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you guys. Meet the great day. Arigato ne. Haha no hi no card mo aru kara. Zehi check out and meet the great day. Hi. I will end this soon. Mata ne. Share story. Oh. Oh, I wasn't allowed. Oh. Did it again. I didn't、uh, download it. We'll figure it out. But thank you guys for watching. This was fun doing a, a live stream. Hopefully, I'll get to do it better and the lighting isn't so weird. It was a lot brighter earlier. But yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for watching and、um, I'll see you soon. Arigato ne. Bye. <laughs>